Well, a lot of us are searching for those unique holiday gifts, and Lindsay Thies has set out to find some great ideas for us. She's sharing the stories behind the artisans who make them. Lindsay is live at Omaha today with her Handmade in the Heartland series. Lindsay. That's right. Well, Jen and Emily, so if you keep on heading up Dodge, heading out west, you might think, well, past Village Point, I don't know if there's a lot to really check out. You are wrong. I am here at Main Street Studios in downtown Elkhorn. This actually used to be the only uh, gas station in the town, and it had, the building had set kind of vacant for quite a number of years. Well, now it's a place where you can get all sorts of handmade gifts, like these beautiful rings that we had shown earlier. There is glass, there is canvas, there's all sorts of things. Take a look. From jewelry to glass ornaments, today's gift ideas come in many forms, but just from one spot. Different artists are working with different mediums and coming together. We collaborate a little bit. It was the brainchild of this guy. Uh, my name is Tyler Kearns. Uh, I am the owner of Main Street Studios in downtown Elkhorn. Main Street Studios is putting this little business area on the map. Think hot shops, but a little smaller and out west. We've got my glass artwork. Uh, we've got a bronze sculptor in-house, a silversmith in-house, uh, an acrylic painter in-house. And then on top of those four, we have a mixed media sculptor, a mixed media a wall artist, uh, a watercolor artist, and an oil artist. The space itself is a mix between different artist studios and a gallery space to show off their work. And the space is an art project in and of itself. And my grandfather used to come here for gas in the 1940s. Kearns gutted the old gas station that used to be here using all kinds of reclaimed wood and repurposed materials for the gallery and living space in the back. The ceiling is actually uh, they had previously, it had rotted a little bit, it sat vacant for 35 years, so going through and fixing that up, I really wanted it to be with something that was original, akin to the original wood. So I went through Alma, Nebraska, and tore out a barn and repurposed that wood. For gift ideas, there's everything from glass magnets and tree ornaments that cost a couple of bucks, to jewelry and even ornamental statues in the thousands of dollars. Just use the tools to put in the real fine detail. Most of all, it's from a collective of artists all making different pieces by hand here in the heartland. So back out here live, like we mentioned, nice little price points for you if you're looking for some stocking stuffers. These little magnets cost anywhere from like one to four bucks, not too bad. They also have, how cute are these? The little snowman and reindeer glass blown ornaments. Really cute for your stocking. Uh, or if you're looking for some bling, these will these will set you back a few hundred dollars. But again, how beautiful are they? They're handmade right here. This one actually, the silver ring, is one that one of the artists made while we were working on our story. So you can say that you saw the process and then you could sport this as a nice little gift. Emily and Jen, we're live in Elkhorn. I will send it back to you. You never would have guessed that was an old gas station. That place was gorgeous. It's just amazing to see. I cannot wait to go check it yeah, out. Yeah, you said it's like an art display in itself. and It, it really, truly is. Lots and of good just uh, the work that he's put into it is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. And also, 